Hello and welcome. This tutorial is going to show you how to keep momentum from a moving platform once you've jumped from it. So if this platform is going right and you jump directly up, you'll go up and to the right. So uh, this is the project at the end of it. So if I jump now, see it keeps maintaining its, its momentum. This was a suggestion by someone in my comments called Dennis, so thanks Dennis for this um, idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I set it up and I'll show you the code. I'm not going to type it out because it takes too long, but it will be on GitHub. So this is not a great way of setting up a player. It's not got snap vectors or anything like that. Um, look up snap vectors. That's quite important for a really good character controller. I'm just focusing on the actual momentum. So don't use this as a platform tutorial. So this is our moving platform. We've got a new 2D up here. And the reason for that is that when you use an animation player, and you want to move, use the movement. You have to. It has to be in relation to something. So if you, if this wasn't here and where the kinematic body was the root pairing, it would it wouldn't be able to. It would move at a set position no matter how many copies you made it on. Be it zero zero, which would be really high, annoying. Anyway, on the platform kinematic body, it's really important that sync to physics is turned on. A layer is at free, and so it's like this by default. Make sure it's like this. For this tutorial, we've got the swipe, we've got the collision shape, and we've got the animation player. So the animation player, I've added, to, added something just called moving, and it's all plays and it's on repeat, and off and it off it'll go back and forth like this. So let's just put it back to its set on its script. This is really important. This is like the main part of the tutorial. Um, is that we get the velocity of the platform, which we'll later use to apply to the player's momentum. So we've set up two vector twos, velocity and all position. And down in the process, we say velocity equals our current position minus our old position. And this will tell us what direction we're going and how fast. And then what, once we've used the old velocity number, we update it with the, our current one. So it'll get used next frame. So let's show you the player. So this is quite important as well in the player. We've got the kinematic body. We've got some variables there from the script, so don't worry about that. We've got our actual sprite. I'm just using the icon. We've got the collision shape. Make sure it matches the sprite. And we've got the raycast. Now, raycasts are off by default, so make sure it's turned on. Make sure that this is the default for a raycast. Is that. And it'll be in the center. What we want to do is say 64 and... Zero. Oh, no, we don't ignore that. We have 64 and zero. And you want to position the raycast around about here underneath him. Now, make sure that we this, this is also the raycast default, so we want to make sure it's on free. Now, the reason I've done this is that I only this means that the raycast now will only collide with anything that's on layer three, and the only thing that is is a moving platforms. If we don't do that, we might get a static body and we might try to go right what's the velocity of the static body and but there's no velocity an error and then it crashes we don't want that uh, put a camera 2d on there i've put smoothing on there because if you don't use snap vectors it looks a bit weird so and then we're going to go to the script so we've got like a really rudimentary setup here it's not a great one but the main focus is this thing here we're saying, are we on the floor? And we've just pressed jump. Make sure that project settings has jump in. You can put that in yourself if you don't have it already. And then we say, right, move the vector upwards by minus in it. Then we say, right, is the raycast colliding? And now this can only happen if we're on a moving platform. Yes, we are. So set the platform node, which is here, to our raycast get collider. So get collider will get the first body we're connected, uh, which the raycast is touching, in this case it will be a pl moving platform. And then we say, right, with that moving platform that we're touching, add its velocity times 50 to the player's velocity. And what will happen is that I've used 50, it's a magic number, it just feels better. If, it, if, it's, just, if it's just this, then it, it doesn't seem to move that much, so mess around with, your, with this number. Uh, you might be able to find a better way of doing it. And the rest, and that's it really, the rest is just movement stuff. So yeah, are we moving left or right? And I've made it so that you move faster if you're on the floor, 
like you so your acceleration is faster on the floor but it's slow in the air and that means that you want to use the platform's momentum to get that extra push so it gives a reason to have moving platforms so let's set up a little scene and I sh that'll be the tutorial so let's go to the main let's put the play player in let's put in the middle one put a moving platform in I'll put one here and let's duplicate one and then let's put one here and what I'll do is we've got a static platform here so I'll show you what I've made it's just static body a collision shape and a platform and that's it and you, you'll notice that the static is on zero if we did this there'd be an error so make sure you don't so let's put static platform Ooh. back oh it's down here whoopsie so I'll just put that here and let's press play so it looks like the static body's moving it's not it's these two moving that was a bit oh, that, that caught me out a bit so I'll try and land on this and then you'll notice if I press jump now it jumps us back Oh yeah, and the platform will move us out of the way. So you can use this to get like a really quick boost like that. And then obviously if you go against it, it kind of like, say if it's moving left and you jump right, you'll kind of jump upwards, which is how you would in real life. So yeah, I hope that helps you out, Dennis, and anyone else who might be looking at it. If anyone else got a suggestion for another tutorial, let me know in the comments. Take care, bye-bye.